everybody! I'm here today to show you and tell you how to fix squeaking door hinges easily. This will be a full tutorial, but also a straightforward and super easy tutorial. So let's get right into the video. So as you can see right here, I have this door hinge and it squeaks somewhat, okay? Now, if your door hinge squeaks a lot or a little, this method will work for you. This door hinge actually had a bottom cap that I removed prior to starting this video just to save some time. I didn't want to make you watch me remove that bottom cap. So I just pulled it off before making this video, before starting the film process. So what you're going to want to do is make sure the door is nice and secure and you're going to want to do this for both of the hinges. I'm just going to demonstrate with one but both or all three or all four however many hinges the door has you're going to want to do the same process with all the hinges. So you want to start off by removing the hinge pin okay. So just get a nail punch or anything that can sort of fit in the bottom and you want to tap it upwards okay and as you can see that's going to start removing the hinge pin. The hinge pin is coming up like that Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to tap it out from the top. So we want to take the hinge pin out, okay, and this is going to, give me one second here, this is going to accomplish two things. Number one, it gives us access to the hinge pin. Number two, it gives us access to the insides of the hinges. Now I'm doing this with the door closed just because it's easy and I have everything that I need right here. So by the time that I open the door, everything will be back in place. That's how I like to do it. So all that you need now is a lubricant of some sort. You can use a silicone lubricant. I like to just use WD-40 standard stuff. Works really well. And you need a rag to lubricate everything and also to make sure you don't make a mess because when you're lubricating a door hinge, it can cause a mess. You want to avoid that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the rag with, sorry, I have an itch on my cheek over here. There we go, got it. <laughs> you're going to spray the rag with a little bit of WD-40. Not a lot, you just need a little bit. So spray the rag, try not to get it on the, on the, on the floor, okay? So now that I have the WD-40 on the rag, okay, what we're going to do next is take that hinge pin and we are going to rub it with the WD-40 on the rag. So right now, I'm rubbing it with the rag filled with WD-40, okay? And that's going to get off any grime and dirt and lubricate it, okay? Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take that same wet WD-40 spot or whatever lubricant you're choosing to use and I'm going to rub the outsides of the hinges to sort of prime them and get them ready for the WD-40. Now, I'm going to take the hinge pin, move it to the side, and I'm going to take my WD-40 and I'm going to actually spray the hinges. You don't need a ton, you just need a bit because we're going to sort of circulate it in a moment. So take your WD-40, I like to spray some right inside the hinges and I have the rag underneath to stop any from falling. So I spray it right in the hinges. You can see it's dripping out, okay, you can see right there and it, that's just from what was in the hinges. That little dark spot right there. So it's actually really dirty, right? In there. Um, and then I'm going to spray the outside of the hinge with the WD-40 as well. Just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. That's it. And then rub it with the rag just to dry it off so you don't have lubricant dripping everywhere on the floor, okay? So, as you can see right there, we've now lubricated the hinge pin and cleaned it and lubricated the hinge, okay? Now we're going to take our hinge pin and we're actually going to place it back inside of the hinge, okay? So we'll put it back in the hinge, hammer it down, okay? Look at how easily it goes down. That's how you know we're nicely lubricated right here, okay? Just like that, the hinge pin is back in place. I am now going to just rub the hinge again, just to really make sure that no lubricant is going to fall out of there, is going to come out of there, okay? So now we're, we're fairly dry. Um, then what you're going to do, um, once you've done this with all of the hinges, is you're going to open and close the door continually. So I'm going to move the camera just over here, okay? Let me give, my, give, us, give us a better uh, positioning right here. And you don't need to open it and close it like all the way open and close, but you're just going to kind of open and close it just like that. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow that lubricant to circulate. Now listen up. So uh, this door was squeaky, d decently squeaky, just a little bit squeaky. And now, just by doing that top hinge, already listen it is not squeaky anymore so what we're what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the bottom hinge as well but already i pretty much solved the problem that top hinge must have been the problem to begin with it's literally that simple you can stop your squeaky hinges 
easily and you could I recommend that you do this with you know all the hinges on all the doors in your house like once every couple years and you will usually prevent them from squeaking to begin with and it'll make them open and close really smoothly as well so I, I mean I, I try and do it every couple of years but if something squeaks earlier than that couple of year gap then I fix it like I did right here that's it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today Thanks for watching.